Hi guys, this is Sansamashi, and this is the weekly horoscope reading for all 12 horoscopes um, for, I believe it's February 25th through March 3rd. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually check real quick. <sighs> Yeah, March 25th, or February 25th through March 3rd. Um, so we're going to start with Aquarius and work our way through the whole thing. Um, before we get started, I'm going to light some, I think it's called Palo Santo Wood. This is supposed to help invite a lot of positive energy, psychic energy, law of abundance, pretty much just anything good. <laughs> so... I don't know like the specific way to burn it, but I just like doing my own thing. And so uh, the decks I'm going to be using, and you guys, by the way, can uh, click the timestamps below to go to your reading. Uh, you can try listening to other horoscopes and things like that. Do whatever you want to do. Um, the decks I'm going to be using is, I think this is called the Illuminated Tarot. I'm trying to get into like saying what my decks are. My back, on my back again. This is the Wildwood deck, the Wildwood Tarot. I don't know who these are all by, I'm sorry. Um, this, I know who this is by. This is the Mystic Moon Oracles deck. Um, this is my deck. <laughs> My One Piece Uno deck. Uh, I just got these cards online and printed them out and then taped it onto One Piece Uno. And then that was the Major Arcana, which was 22 cards. And that took me hours because my printer doesn't have ink. So I, I colored each one. <laughs> so if you see all the colors, it's, it's colored pencil. So yeah, that's why for the rest, the Minor Arcana, I was like, eh, I'll just use regular Uno and just remember the colors. Like red, this is wands. Um, and then I'll be using the Moonology Oracle deck. So yeah, hopefully you guys click the timestamps. Um, if any of you would like to reach out for a personal reading, 30 minute readings are $20, 45 minute readings are $35, and an hour long readings are $45. So I think those deals are pretty sweet. And you can check the description below for how to pay me and how to reach me through email. So that all being said, I have a bag of crystals and I'm just gonna grab one and kind of rely on that energy or channel with that energy for the different horoscopes. So we're gonna get started with Aquarius. We got three crystals here. We have the raw amethyst cluster, the blue gold stone, and this moonstone prism. I also have this that I'm just going to be holding for like all of the readings. So yeah, let's look at what's in store for February 25th through March 3rd. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. So we're going to start with the Moonology deck. And I don't know if I'll use all the decks for all 12 horoscopes. We'll see. On my back again. You and your loved ones are safe. So that seems to be a message um, for the beginning of the week. I'm going to be doing messages for the beginning, middle, and end. Um, and not all seven days. The middle of the week, we get prosperity lies ahead. Wow. So maybe Spirit is saying, um, for if this resonates with you guys, if there's any sort of decisions you're wondering about in the beginning of the week, like is this a good idea? Um... Of course, rely on your own intuition for that and like trust yourself more than anything. But I'm basically getting that you are safe with whatever emotional planning you have in mind. That it's going to have a it's going to reflect into the material world for you um, as you keep going down your journey. So the middle of the week is prosperity lies ahead. Just kind of saying, just some sort of confirmation. Maybe in the middle of the week. For some of you, you might be worried, like, um, were my previous actions or the previous events in my journey, like, 
a bad move, which by the way, you're always on your path, so it's like, there's no point in regretting the past, in my opinion. Um, but this is just like an extra, like, good omen for that, saying that definitely whatever happens, so for some of you, if things felt like they fell apart at any point throughout February in general, that's what I've been noticing in my life and a lot of um, my loved ones' life, lives, it's that everyone is on their own journey, and so whatever has fallen apart, it was meant to, so that the things that are really gonna build you up, like, are gonna, like, there, there will be space for that. So it's like, yeah, what doesn't work, let it not work, and what will work can come in. And then the end of the week, we've got a fiery climax approaches. So that's really cool. Um, so I'm getting, while this is like a long-term prosperity, I'm also getting, like, literally by the end of the week, you will see the ideas form. You will see, like, now with all this, like, cleared space for yourself, like, whatever may have, like, become undone or fallen apart at the beginning of the week, at the end of the week, you're seeing by a letting that happen, like, by allowing whatever's not meant to work to just wash away, you're seeing at the end of the week this manifest as perhaps ideas or this new inspired energy where you're like, ah, oh, okay, this was definitely a good thing because I'm feeling really good. So it's like whether or not you're getting like, for example, financial like prosperity in this exact week, like, like whatever this is talking about, like I'm getting at the... At, like for sure you're at least getting the uh, the seeds and the ideas planted for yourself at the end of the week and if not more like ideas like are like brewing by the end of the week and then some final messages we're just gonna go back well no i'll just stick with that let's see the beginning of the week no, the overall energy is Observer with Big Dreams. It's just kind of like going with the flow of each day and you're going to notice that you're getting closer and closer to your dreams. So I think that's very much connected with this whole fiery climax approaches. This is a uh, full moon in Aries. Contemplation. Yeah, I'm just getting whatever this prosperity is by the end of the week. It's like ideas. It's, it's something to think about is basically what that is. And yeah. So, hope that resonates with you guys. Have a good week. Sending so much love and light. Peace out, Aquarius. Or whoever. All right. Next, we've got Pisces. Hooray! So what I'm doing is literally just like picking three crystals and using those. All right, so we've got Indigo Gabbro, um, Blue Aventurine, and we got Blue Goldstone. All right. So, the beginning of the week, we've got Five of Bows Empowerment, as with this sun sort of card. This is the Seven of Diamonds, so I guess it's the Seven of Pentacles. And so what I am getting with that is that the beginning of the week, you are empowering yourself and seeing the shift. You're seeing things, um, obstacles clear away from your path, basically. Ooh, yeah, that seems to be the flow. Surrender to the divine, go with the flow. And then a final message for the beginning of the week. Ooh, it's mirroring. You're, you're mirroring your own energy really well. Like your masculine and feminine energy, your sun and your moon energy. Um, and this is also mirroring with like everything. So I'm just getting like the beginning of the week. There's a lot of mirroring going on. And so whether or not you're aware of it, whether or not you're seeing 
others mirroring you. It's it's going on. It's like there's some divine planning going on for you. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the middle of the week. Really specific cards are coming out. Like I'll show, like it literally like prop this stuff up. I will try to show you guys. Um, can you see? Yeah. See how it's just like up. <laughs> So yeah, it's really funny how the cards are happening. Yeah, also my apologies, I chose to have the camera facing me again. Um, so we've got the King of Stones, Wolf. Okay, that's the King of Earth. Um, what is this energy about? Um, and so I think these are just facing the wrong way. They are. I wanna ride that wave. So we got the three of wands. So the middle of the week's energy is, I really feel this mirroring energy. This is like you and a person, you and some, or something, whatever it is that you want, that you feel apart from, that you know is coming your way in the future. It's like that energy, you're feeling it in the middle of the week. So I'm gonna look more into this, what spirit has to say about that. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself, spirit? <laughs> we got, oh, we got a new start is coming. So spirit is just saying this is an inspirational message for the middle of the week. So this might not really even show other than your own feelings of longing for whatever is in the future. But spirit is just like, yes, keep going. This is just like, think about like a trainer, like a personal trainer, like, you know, like, and you're like running laps and they're like keep running like whoo like a positive one not like a really like intimidating mean one you know what i mean but it's just like there's just like positive support saying to keep going a fresh start is coming for you yeah this song's literally saying don't stop um oh, release release the old energy and allow the new energy so with this full moon it's like now we got we have like this next coming week um, and until the new moon to be releasing this energy there seems to really be some sort of really good stuff coming in with the next new moon <laughs> cycle so cool all right and then the end of the week once again with specific cards but this is too many so I'm putting them back sorry spirit too confusing green woman and there's a card with it the six of bows abundance and then I'm gonna flip a card from here the four of bows the four of wands um, that finish line that victory that coming together Wow your energy at the end of the week it's like you released a lot of energy in the middle of the week so literally by the end, you you do have a lot um, of of new energy brewed up for you. Yeah. I think I've got one. The soulless presidential life of rock sun. Hold your vision. Through the beginning of this week, it's like you had you had certain visions or ideas or feel you're mirroring. If this is a love message, spirit is just saying like kind of believe in that and just sort of go through this week and then whatever is meant to be released will be released but i'm just getting like this is a, the end of the week's message hold your vision so i'm getting this is going to still be a really long-term thing i think whatever's brewing it's it's brewing for sure it's it's coming together it really seems like it is the message i'm getting here so that's cool and then Okay, we've got the union card. We've got the union card, everybody! <laughs> so, that's exciting. <laughs> Spirit wants you to believe in coming together with loved ones. Or a loved one, if you, if like, I, it's like, it's not, and you don't have to be like, is it one or the other? It's everything. It's everything you want union to mean. <laughs> um, and I'm not really getting necessarily that this means this is coming on this day exactly at the end of the week um, but I am getting it's like you've been on this path you've always been on this path 
you know? And so Spirit is just like saying like once again, you have a, released a lot of old energy and, and this new energy coming in very much is gonna manifest you a lot of things coming together. And if that doesn't happen re like early in the form of like soul family, like your soul tribe, um, like a romantic interest, it's going to show itself in some form or another, whether that's like abundance, which is what this word says, food, blessings, whatever is just like positive to you. All right, so that's the week's energy for Pisces. Um, I can tell I spent extra time on that one. Maybe it's because it's mine, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just can get really carried away with readings. All right, sending love and light, guys. Whoever's listening, take care. All right, this is Aries. So we're gonna see what crystals wanna get channeled with Aries. So we get similar crystals as Aquarius. So we've got Moonstone, this Moonstone Prism, this Raw Amethyst Cluster, and this bloodstone it's hard to see it but yeah all right aries energy these are going to be a lot quicker messages i know i kind of spent a long time on the first couple but let's see beginning of the week aries we got divine masculine charging forward with action whoa the middle of the week We've got commitment and news. Wow. It seems to me that you're channeling a lot of your energy through loved ones, whether you're together or separated from these loved ones or or specific person. Basically, I'm just getting like somebody or multiple people or lots of things are your muse. You're creating stuff this week, and you're very inspired by like con like connections you're committed to. Basically, what I'm getting, and that's just like a solid whole course throughout the week, is pretty much what I'm getting here. Yeah. And so it's like spirit wants to say to like keep going, keep enjoying what you're creating. When you create, whether this is through art or music or just whatever it is that you're creating with your life, um, it's like literally by doing things and setting things in motion, you're gonna manifest things completely not connected to that. Like for example, like if you like, like if you've ever like thought of something or someone and then like moments later they show up or something, it's like that. You might draw something, create something, and then by doing that and letting your feelings out that way, you will create like stuff for your experience in the actual like material world as well. So hope that kind of made sense. I didn't really roll off the tip of my tongue that well, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. And let's see what other messages might come out. We got the page of arrows, Ren. Yeah, it's just kind of like go with the flow of this. Like, um, Move forward with an open mind, being ready to learn whatever it is you're going to learn. Going like it looks like you're taking on this week with with a set of curious eyes, basically. Yep, and it has to do with your own self. So this might be a very like self-driven week. I mean, that's all the time. For you know that should be the case. we should but like what I mean by that is um like I I do get the feeling because this is the hanged man's energy I do get the feeling that this is like your muse is people loved ones or future commitments however this is resonating for you but it's it's your inspiration right now because you're in pause away from it in some way or it's on pause in some form and then at the end of the week, it's like you're you're still just feeling very connected to whatever those commitments are because within yourself, you know you're always connected. So that really just seems to be the messages coming out. 
for this week. Um, yeah. So, hope this message is resonating with you guys. I'm sending so much love and light. Take care. Mm. All right. I believe this is Taurus. Right. I'm gonna grab three crystals. All right. Grab the crystal that I don't know what this is. I don't remember the name, unfortunately. Then I've got Rainbow Moonstone. And then I have a Raw Amethyst Cluster. So. We're going to look through this as like beginning, middle, and end. I guess that card really wants to come out. So the beginning of the week, we have look at the bigger picture. Middle of the week, we have confidence is your key to success. And the end is communication is key. So it really does look like that, like those connect, you know, the word key. And then a card that came out that I saw is your hard work is paying off. And I think this is the overall theme of the week. So the beginning of the week, with look at the bigger picture, this definitely is like, there's a lot of things happening like behind the scenes, like div like with the divine basically. So things might not make sense right now or they haven't come together right now, but spirit's like, look at the bigger picture. If you keep going, it'll come together in the material world. And then in the middle, it looks like this confidence is your key to success. This might be about communicating or yeah, or connecting with something or someone that maybe you were wondering how to do that at the beginning of the week. Middle of the week, vibrations, comp but I, I get that you're feeling actually very confident in the middle of the week. That's like the vibration you're giving off. So then at the end, with communication is key. What do we get with that? The Mystic Moon Oracle's deck. We get an, a, literally a, we get a key conclusion some that was the key your confidence and your vibration seems to be the key to your success to to communicating it was the key to communicating and then communication is literally the key it like works both ways so there's like two keys here or multiple <laughs> your confidence the vibration that you hold the vibration of confidence communication these are all keys here and and looking at the bigger picture that might be related to the key so finally what we get for your hard work is paying off we get ascending yeah so the overall message for the week is you are rising above um, any sort of challenges or a previous cycle um, so yeah, pretty cool week. All right, I'm sending so much love and light. Okay, well, hold on. The card on the back of this deck is Awakening. So you're really, you're, I feel like maybe you've been working really hard on yourself um, when it comes to your spiritual journey. So I'm just, or just, if it doesn't feel very spiritual, or if, like if you don't vibe that while well, you're on this video, so never mind. I guess you probably vibe with that. But basically I'm just getting that you might be going through a really powerful spiritual awakening that you've been working really hard for. And yeah, it looks like the end of the week, you may have fully gone through some sort of awakening or multiple awakenings. All right, sending so much love and light guys. Hope those all resonate for you and I will talk to you all later. Peace out. Okay. This is, let me check, Gemini, so let's see what's in store for Gemini, I've just been like <laughs> shaking up this bag of crystals, I don't know if it's like the most like energetically like respectful thing to do with crystals, but oh well, so we've got, we yeah, have four crystals for some reason. So we have Lapis Lazuli. Um, 
forgot what this is. Someone told me. But I forgot. And we have blue goldstone. And we have a rose quartz. So. The messages I'm getting here is the beginning of the week might start off a little rough, per perhaps. And then throughout the week, you're going to see the beauty of the week unfold. So it's, it's really exciting. Alright, so we're going to flip a few cards. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the beginning of the week, you're like getting for, you're getting a feel of things. You're really focusing on yourself. Maybe you're meditating. And then in the middle of the week, I'm just getting something just like suddenly is moving forward with great speed. And then the end of the week, that great speed pushed you out of this blast. It's like the blasted oak. It's the tower card. So some sort of tower moment happens, I guess, middle, end of the week. But it's one, it's not one that you have to start all over type of thing. This is just a tower moment in terms of like things that weren't serving you fell apart. It's more like if you're running on a race and a bunch of other people fell off the race. Yeah. It's like you're not falling off. Yeah. And you're, because you're noticing whatever it, like, maybe, yeah, like, literally you feel like things get chaotic or whatever, but, like, what you'll notice is that, like, you are stronger from it. That, like, all that fell apart were maybe aspects of yourself that weren't really helping you in the first place. So that's what I'm getting for the middle through the end of the week. Yeah, I just really see you, like, coming out of all this on top. It's really good. So, the overall energy of the week is to be patient it seems as though your intentions have been received in, out in the universe from whatever manifestations you are separated from yeah so the overall energy is that you're having patience about this and you are open to receiving energy and you might actually be receiving separation energy. So you might actually be going through some challenges from throughout this week. But it's like, I'm seeing definitely any negative form of separation energy, that, that feeling of lack that you might be receiving. That is what I'm seeing is going to be falling out of this tower energy, like middle and mid end of the week. And... And then, like, this is giving you more trust that, like, more trust in yourself. What does your inner child want to do? I feel like you're getting stirred up to do things. I feel like you're feeling guided and, and seeing signs to dance or, like, present yourself um, and be really open or something like that. To not, to not be in this feeling of, like, numbness, lack separation at like anything this might represent in a negative sense this is like you're getting a lot of signs not to pick up those types of messages this week and to have more full emotionally fulfilling messages where you are admired for what you are doing which is living your life all right so hope those messages resonate for gemini's out there or whoever is listening to these messages sending so much love and light Peace out. All right. Next, we've got, I think it's Cancer. Let me just check real quick. Yes. Cancer signs. I'm gonna grab some crystals. Once again, I got four. So we've got Howlite. We have yellow uh, adventuring. We've got indigo gabbro, and we've got this moonstone prism. I'm actually going to be laying them out more like this, not like that. Not that that really matters a whole ton, but yeah, it's just laid out like this. <sighs> All right, cancer signs. Let's see what's going on. Beginning of the week, there's some sort of settling energy. The energy, maybe you're getting settled in 
maybe things have finally sort of calmed down for you. The waters have gone from rough to smooth. So you're like, maybe you're always like on high alert or on action, on, like called on duty. And now it's like the beginning of the week, I'm getting like energy has settled. So that's the way I'm seeing the word settling, that type of thing. Like if someone's asking like, how are you getting settled in? You're like, really good. <gasps> Middle of the week. Yup, settling and ascending. So it's really the positive settling vibe. It's not like, um, yeah. And then the end of the week, we've got awakening. Interesting. I'm gonna pull two clarifiers on both of these. Divine Masculine. <laughs> I was like in shock. Divine Masculine and Soulmate. You're ascending um, and moving forward with like your journey and you are awakening to more like, like it's a spiritual awakening of course, but that brings in more soulmate energy. So you attract like that vibe. <sighs> so you're feeling very connected at the end of the week. That makes sense with awakenings. You feel very connected with spirit. And then the overall energy, we also get karmic partner. To me, this is a, a strong message saying that this is actually very likely about a person for some of you or for a lot of you. Um, this might be like, maybe, <laughs> I know how it resonates for me and like, can't, like cancer signs in my life, but like, anyways, Sorry, I'm not trying to project, but what I'm getting here is maybe you are on pause with a specific person or specific people and you're ascending past that. So whoever, whoever, like everyone is karmic, but if there are people in your life giving you challenges, you're ascending beyond those challenges and that might mean leaving them behind, stepping away, distancing yourself from vibes where it's more like not ascension for you and then you're connecting more with soulmate vibes so pretty much i'm just getting for many of you this isn't really it can be if it resonates as meeting an, a new soulmate at this time but to me this is like you are cutting out old energy releasing old energy so then you have more time and energy for these deeper more meaningful connections that are already in your life but if it resonates differently that's totally cool too yeah so pretty short messages for that one i'm sending so much love and light cancer signs or whoever is listening um and i'll talk to you all later peace out all right next we've got um Leo, Leo signs. So I'm just gonna pull a few crystals. I'm just gonna let some fall out. Come on. <laughs> Definitely putting a timestamp after this. All right, Leo signs, let's get started. So I've got three crystals here. We've got Bloodstone. I still can't remember the name of this one right now. I know somebody told me before. And then we've got Carnelian at the end of the week. So I feel like you've got a lot of energy moving you forward, propelling you forward in this week. There's kind of some energy where you might kind of be a little bit like stop and go or like you feel a flow and then suddenly you've got like maybe like writer's block or you feel suddenly um it's difficult to find motivation i'm just getting like the order of the crystals that this is like a rock in the road i know these are all rocks but like i don't know <laughs> yeah so let's go ahead and look into it I'm gonna use the illuminated tarot. All right. So we've got the eight of pentacles basically at the beginning of the week. 
which is that yeah you're dedicated to pushing through this week and then the middle of the week we've got some blockages basically some chained up energy behind your passion or your fire or your creativity or your motivation and at the end of the week it's like you've cleared those blockages they probably just got released um through unlocking certain answers within yourself and then you're charging forward at the end of the week with the chariots energy and then the overall energy is about needing to not needing to but the overall energy for the week is you're very much um connected with your feelings of sorrow of of releasing it of letting out your like feelings so it looks like the blockage at the middle of the week if anything is like an emotional blockage or a spiritual blockage so yeah um and i'll just pull a few more cards just to kind of get a couple more messages eight of pentacles we've got the queen of pentacles um yep so it's just like whatever it is you're working on at the beginning of the week you've been inspired to be doing this for quite some time now and you're like you really know like you want to keep going and and sort of like you appreciate where you are now but you know it's because you need to get more down your path and you want to keep going of course you know um and in the middle of the week ace of swords i think whatever this blockage is it's like it's gonna clear up you're gonna know what it is and you're gonna have an understanding of how to uh work on it it's a spiritual blockage five of wands it's like i'm getting you're like okay i just need to come into alignment with all of this uh conflicting energy within me right now that's creating this sort of blockage um so yeah it's kind of like um if a rock is in your path but there's like still other ways to go you're just moving around it you're not gonna have to break through it you just need to move around the rock and then the end of the week we've got oh we got the ace of cups and the seven of pentacles was the top card but i accidentally pulled the second card so i'm just getting like you're charging forward with like that clarity i feel like something happened where you released a lot of this energy and so now what you have is uh the remaining two upright cups that are thriving um, but it's like your own cup And so that's charging you forward and bringing you towards really emotionally fulfilling things um, For the future of your journey. So those are the messages I got. I'm sending so much love and light guys um, And Yeah, I'm expecting some sort of like transformation this week for all of us. That's how I've been feeling lately um but yeah, those are the messages. Take care. All right, so next we've got Virgo. So let's look into some messages from Virgo. I'm just gonna grab some crystals in here. Virgo. So we've got blue gold stone. Whatever this crystal is. <laughs> rock and then um rose quartz so virgo let's look beginning middle and end of the week beginning of the week you're very in touch with your emotions with your feminine side um king of swords it's balancing out with your masculine energy And then, whoa, we've got a new romantic cycle begins. So you know that there's some sort of fresh start for you at the beginning of the week. Middle of the week, aww, we got the two of cups with, whoa, the Pope, the, high, the, the Hierophant. So... 
It's like, this is just the path for you, the path of love. You're like, yeah, this is my path. This is for me. <gasps> Nothing is yet set in stone. And I'm getting from that, it's like, you are not defined by um, anything, only by yourself. You get to be who you believe you are. So like, nothing is yet in stone. So it's like, if someone made you feel a certain way, that you are this, that you are that, this is like, the middle of the week, you're like, no, I don't have to listen to that. I am whoever I say I am. And it's like, with this romantic energy, for some of you, this might be about a person. There might have been a person that you met, um, or it's like the own, your own other half of you internally in your own self that is like telling you like, hey, you get to be whoever you decide. And so that's the message I'm getting for the middle of the week. And then for the end of the week, we've got the hermit's energy. I think the hermit is the energy of Virgo. I don't 100% remember. Oh, we got two nines. I mean, this says eight on this deck, but Hermit is the number nine card. And this is the nine of pentacles. So, this is like, you're doing really good as an individual. So whether you are with someone or not, like romantic partner wise, I'm just getting that you feel this energy for yourself, which, basically means you're in a relationship with yourself and you feel really good about it At the end of the week believe in the impossible it's like believe in love believe in healing I'm just getting like there might have been some really deeply rooted like wounds in, in your soul basically um, or your thoughts or your feelings it could even be physical you're like recovering from like an injury <laughs> um i shouldn't be laughing about that because injuries are serious but like um and physical ailments are very very serious you know but i'm just getting like this is like believe in the impossible in the sense of um whatever things about you that you thought you couldn't overcome or whatever things about you that you felt maybe you were never gonna be able to clear through it it's like believe that you can believe in it because you you can and you will nothing is set in stone including feelings of like this is hopeless or this can never change stuff like that nothing is set in stone so you can believe there is hope things can change stuff like that so that's what I'm getting for the week uh, February 25th through March 3rd Hope those messages resonate with you guys. I'm sending so much love and light. Peace out. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> Cause I can do time stamps. Yeah. Earth is everything I've ever known. I will fight to be everything that everybody wants me to be when I'm grown. The odds are against us. This won't be easy, but. Do it alone. We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can't, we'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and Stephen. Okay.
Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get started with Libra. We've got some crystals here that I'm channeling with. If you guys are interested, this is a bloodstone, yellow aventurine, lapis lazuli, and uh, red jasper. Then I've also got moonstone prism and rose quartz. So at the start of the week, it looks like you're going through a major transformation, a journey. I'm getting that this is like a process. It's not just like one like instant change. This is something that's going to take time. Then we've got the Knight of Arrows. This is the Hawk. And so what I'm getting here is like you've reached the end of your transformation at the beginning of the week. And so then like where that carries you over to is like where should I set my sights on now? Now that I'm a new person, now that I have transformed, gone through this death rebirth cycle. Then we've got the hooded man, the hermit's energy. It's like your choice is you want to learn and teach and inspire is what I'm getting. In the end of the week, we've got six of stones or uh, the overall message is six of stones. And it says exploitation. So this, I feel like your energy, you're like trying to find what you can do to give to this world and to receive from this world. So those are the messages I'm getting. I'm gonna just kind of look in all of these just one more time with uh, some clarifications. So we've got observer, observer, contemplation. Yep, those are just clarifying. This is like, yep, you. There's a transformation that has happened, and you're aware of it. You're like an observer of it. Then, like the middle of the week, it's like. You're like, hmm, where do I want to go with this like energy now? You get to choose, and you choose to put it into yourself, to soul searching, to learning. That's the compromise. You're like, all right, if, uh, if I'm at the start of something right now, I can learn, and that's your compromise. Uh, and, and what you're compromising with is the future. You're like, all right, future, I'll stop trying to get to you by just connecting with you in the present and like connecting with myself and learning everything I'm supposed to be learning in the present. Clarification on the overall energy is release. So you're letting go of energy that wasn't working and it's bringing in energy that is. So you're getting really in the flow of give and receive. Yeah. And feeling good about yourself. What if, what if, what if we just don't care? So, really short messages. I'm sending so much love and light. Hope you guys resonated with those. Peace out. To me. Used to sing. All right, so these are the messages for Scorpio. I actually just really like these crystals, so I'm gonna just leave these for the last four. Um, if you guys would like to look at them, this is them. <laughs> yeah, we've got Bloodstone, Yellow Aventurine, Lapis Lazuli, Red Jasper, Moonstone Prism, and Rose Quartz. Everybody celebrate. All right. Game of the week. It looks like you're feeling really good. Wishes coming true. Nine of cups. Um, I just chose to pull it back out. Um, just this ever flowing energy of like all sorts of amazing things. Just blessings. That's the beginning of the week. <laughs> 
that you're receiving and then you're letting it flow out where it deserves to flow out which is into more cups so you're like sharing this with like everyone around you that matches that same vibe of course people who are worthy of that of course beginning of the week wow and that's like you're moving forward you're going moving in with the water it's like you see this water right up here it's like rough but the water over there is smooth so you're like going to more of this energy that's beautiful the end of the week a fresh start yep you're like it's time I move forward and get a fresh start and you're going somewhere and you're receiving like an opportunity or offer there wherever it is that you travel to and that's and you know that's coming for you so at the end of the week you know that that opportunity is on its way the overall energy for the whole week the three of wands wow it really seems like this is a really solid week yeah and that the overall energy is like it's still preparation for being able to really fully move but I'm just getting you have some really good building blocks here throughout this week. I'm gonna clarify these. The last time I did that, it was basically those messages. So let's see. The last time I mean for the, for the last horoscope I just did. This is just like another part of your journey and you know it and you this is like a more fun part. Whoa. Nine of Cups separation. <gasps> Hold on. Six of Swords, big dreams. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I did kind of feel some sort of like energy of releasing sorrow and things like that. So this is like, you're very much feeling this even if there's material world separation. So yeah, I'm just getting like, this is really building blocks for your future. And then in the middle of the week, it's like, yep, you're going to your big dreams. Notice that huge moon and this person is like s swimming or, or uh, boating or whatever to that full moon. You're to the big dream, big dreams. This Ace of Wands energy. Bound. It's set in stone. Hmm. I'm gonna clarify both this bound card. Stuck. So there's an opportunity for you, but I'm getting it's still not ready in physical form at the end of the week. So you're gonna have to work on releasing any attachment to that opportunity. Because it's, it's just simply not ready yet is what I'm getting here. Yeah. So yeah, that's the overall energy that you'll be working on letting go of more things to allow more new energy to come in, which I've been saying for like pretty much everybody for these readings. Yeah. All right. I'm sending so much love and light. Well, I mean, I am, but like I did get a final message. I did notice this five of cups. So there, there really does seem to be some sort of sorrowful energy with that Nine of Cups, but I'm seeing it really positively because it is a positive thing for sure. It's definitely moving you forward on your journey. So yeah, all right, that was, that was all I wanted to say. <laughs> Love and light, Scorpios, or whoever's listening. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. All right. Now we're on... Sagittarius. All right, yep, this song. I walk through the darkest valley. Aw, you are guided through the darkness. You are guided through this time. Yeah, that's the beginning of the week. The middle of the week, refocusing your energy, listening to your guides, your spirit guides. And your spirit guides don't miss, they won't misguide you, of course. So you might be refocusing away from guidance that maybe was once good and then you're like this isn't good guidance um, choosing who your guides are you do choose your role models basically 
and then that's the middle of the week. To the end of the week, there is some sort of grief energy. I'm getting this as like refocusing from grief. Third part, wow, these are just very similar color energies. Hmm. Spirit's like, nope, that's the end of the end of the week's energy. This is like refocusing on yourself and recognizing your grief and where it's coming from. Not just internally, but like seeing that has to do with outside energy where you're like and it's and it's not like outside energy as in like you can't get away. It's like outside energy as in like this was always here and it's like you recognize it now and now that you've recognized it and are aware of it you can make the choice do you want this energy to still have an impact on you that's the end of the week's kind of like question so let's see what spirit wants to say about those each beginning of the week with guide it's time to release negativity yeah, so I am. So while I know for sure, of course, we're all guided, I'm getting this is a message saying if there's any bad, like not good feeling influences in your life, um, negative role models, perhaps negative energy in your life. This is like it's time to release that and keep listening to your inner guidance, to your own spirit guides and stuff, because your spirit guides will never mislead you. And in the middle of the week's energy, a new start is coming. Yep, you're like, I'll refocus my energy. There's a lot more stuff out there for me. So even if you had to release this negativity in the form of saying goodbye to people, this is like you're refocusing your energy knowing that there's more for you to find. That there will be others or other things for yourself. And the end of the week's message is... A new romantic cycle begins so if you're taking if, if this is resonating for you in a in terms of a partnership like a person yes spirit is saying like oh yep you've been refocusing your energy for a new start so a new start will come your way a final message with this your commitment to this is being tested it's like you get to manifest um, your journey or like by um, I mean, we can't control, like, the outcome or things like that, but, like, it's like, it's like the end of the week, you're, you're getting, like, your spirit is still asking you, is this path the path that you want? So, of course, nothing is set in stone. A new start is coming, so the end of the week is, like, if a new start is coming, what do I want in this new start? And so your commitment is being tested in the sense of spirit is literally asking you, yeah, what what is it that you want with this? Do you want to be around old energy? Or do you want to go towards what you're being guided towards, which is new energy? Yeah. And then just an overall message for the whole week is four stones know that you are protected yeah all right send you so much love and light guys keep the faith believe in your dreams take care we gonna be all right we are the children of the world all right so we're gonna get started with capricorn's reading so so the reason I really want to go ham on Capricorn's reading, go all out. <laughs> what I mean is like I have all these decks, so I'm gonna use them all. Two, four, yeah, there's five decks. Everything gonna be alright. Everything gonna be alright, cause I say so. Everything gonna be alright. I'll just put a different timestamp. <laughs> I'm getting 
you're lost in the crowd. On a big balloon, I can't quite figure it out. I can't be anything that I'm not, cause I'm me. I have tea with a party and a personality. Do -de -da -do -do. All right, we are gonna get started with the Capricorn readings for the week of February 25th through March 3rd. So at the beginning of the week, and if you guys wanna see me just shuffling for a while and singing songs, you can rewind, but Game of the week, we've got Seven of Stones, Healing, the Emperor's Energy, wow, conclusions are within reach, this is like, so far what I'm getting with this is you know right now, you sort of, maybe like everyone's hanging out, or like you're invited to go somewhere, and you're like, I really want to go, but you're like, Sorry guys, I'm sick or like sorry. I need I I am doing some healing. I'm almost done healing I swear <laughs> But I still need to do something else. I still have some unfinished business with myself with my own uh, Personal stuff Communication so I really am getting your communicating this too if that resonated and then Yep, that right now you, you're on board with whatever's coming in the future, but for now, you need to focus on yourself. Um, or you need to focus on your responsibilities is more accurate. Um, it's more like there's responsibilities and you know that, it's, that you care about these responsibilities. Um, that you're gonna you're gonna commit to the responsibilities, which is committing to yourself, like your honor. And then once that is concluded, you can really go on your personal journey. So that's what I'm getting in the beginning of the week, the energy you're at. The middle of the week, we've got the Ace of Bows, Spark of Life. So I feel like it's like, boom, the middle of the week. You're like, all right, I did it. I, I did whatever needed to be done. <laughs> With someone I know, this could be like homework, <laughs> uh, school, but it doesn't have to be. It can be a lot of however that it resonates for you. We've got the King of Wands. So we got the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands, middle of the week. Um, I'm me. Da -da -da. The answers you need are coming in the middle of the week, is, is what this is talking about. Dark Knight of the Soul understanding whoa so this middle of the week this this uh, fresh start is with yourself understanding that you needed to go through this period of time so the middle of the week um, you'll be going possibly through dark night of the soul meaning you might be facing your shadow side a bit uh, contemplating reflecting on how did you get to this moment when you were when you've been on this path trying to do what's right for yourself. Like, um, how did you, like, why is it in the middle of the week that even though you have a fresh start, is it that you feel like you're failing? There's an understanding behind it though and a trusting that answers you need are coming for this. So intuitively, you know this, your higher self, y you, you're guiding yourself on your path to figure this out to understand why you had to go through what you had to go through why you had to um, feel these feelings ace of wands yeah we just get the ace of wands again so this really seems to be like a whole like new perspective on your own shadow your own darkness seeing it in a whole different light all right and then there's just like a deep trust with all this in the middle of the week. And then at the end of the week, I'm getting, you are protected. The four of stones, protection. The two of cups, aww. 
hold your vision, believe in love, believe you will come together with with the, your light and dark energy within you or with, it, with a partner, if this is about romance, or with a friend, family member, anyone who you, who you understand and trust that you're like a two of cups connection, you know, like that you're like twins, soulmates, like um, uh, emotional match, like you, you have like, you both share like mutual love for each other. Hold your vision that this connection is safe. Muse, because it's like, you know, like, it's like you learn a lot from this connection, and it's like, believe in it then, if you are learning a lot. Yeah, this spiral, I'm getting, this is the spiral, like, like the, the wheel of fortune, the, the cycle of life, of expansion. It's like, grow from this, and, and learn from it, believe in whatever it is that you want out of this, and Spirit seems to say that that's coming into the mix of everything with the end of the week's energy. All right, and then the overall energy for the whole week, we've got Four of Wands celebration. This is overall a very fun week. You're creating a lot of celebratory times. It's time to take action. Luck is on your side. So Spirit is saying, if you do things, whatever you're feeling guided to do, whether it's light or dark, luck is on your side. It's going to work out pretty beautifully. Fresh start. Maybe this is for getting a fresh start. Mask. But, what is this mask? Let me clarify the advice on this mask card. We get... Queen of Cups, Two of Arrows, King of Arrows, The Ancestor. This is like saying, I'm not going to go into detail with each and every card, but this is like saying like, um, you're going to have to actually make a big effort for this fresh start by removing a mask. You're going to have to really open up and be true to yourself and be completely honest with your thoughts. If you, if this fresh start, if you're really serious about having this foundation of a fresh start. So, depending on your choice, this might happen this week, or you might need more time to be working on yourself, to be removing these masks, this, these perceptions that are blocking you from seeing, um, from being able to be open. Yeah, so I'm getting Yeah, I'm getting that's the message you, you might need to be real and talk about something um, Or open up about something um, Or this is with yourself like to the universe like being like okay universe. I do want answers I do want to manifest more things or um, Whatever it is that you want if it's not about like reconciling with somebody with getting a fresh start. But yeah, the overall energy I'm getting here is that throughout this week, you're gonna be working on removing the mask. You're gonna be working on your foundation. Yeah. And then with this song, for some, for some of you, this might be something you've been wanting, to, a part in your life you've been wanting to get to for a long time. So yeah, those are the messages. Woo! Um, and then strongly, I'm just getting you're creating a lot for yourself. Like, I, I just feel like Capricorns, like you guys are very powerful manifestors. Uh, we all are, of course. But yeah. So whoever was listening, hope those messages resonate with you. I'm sending so much love and light, and I will talk to you all later. Take care.